Where are we with finding out whatever details there exist from that? Well, let me do my best to spell it out to you, Greeny. Yeah. Essentially, this is a case where we start off with the fact that 2023 was voided. They did not cut his salary, but they created more cap room somehow. We'll see how they've done that. The biggest thing that I think that this deal is going to contain when it comes down and when it gets revealed is what is called default language. And by that, I mean this. Default language means that if after this season – Aaron Rodgers decides not to show up to Green Bay anymore, doesn't like what the organization's doing, wants to retire, whatever he wants to do, he gets to keep the money, the guaranteed money that's been paid to him. Mm -hmm. He no longer has to pay that back, which mm -hmm. means that the Packers will be left with a cap charge of about $20 million on their books if he retired, plus the idea that they would have to leave open a window of about $25 million in the event that Aaron Rodgers showed up right before training camp. So if Aaron Rodgers were upset with the Packers, he could say, I'm retiring, I'm keeping my money, and you may see me during training camp keep that space open, which would limit what they could do. What this does is it honors the word that has been exchanged between the two sides, and Brian Gutekunst admitted as much today when he said, Aaron has done so much for this organization that he deserves the right to have his situation reviewed year after year. In other words, after this year, Aaron Rodgers will have the freedom – to choose where he wants to play and if he wants to play. He may want to continue on in Green Bay. He may want to be traded, as he did during this offseason. He may not want to play at all. That is going to be his choice. And there's nothing that Green Bay can do to stand in his way. Whereas now, if he didn't show up, which he wasn't planning to do, he would have had this long, protracted battle with the organization, would have gotten ugly. It would not have been favorable. And again, as I talk to you right now, I'm telling you a week ago, the plan was for him not to go in. I know there are Packers fans who maintain, oh, he had no choice. He had a choice, and he was going to strongly consider going the other route. But ultimately decided in the end, wisely, I believe, that by going in and getting these concessions, getting the default language, getting the last year knocked off, getting Randall Cobb, his friend, back in town, getting more cap room for the team this year, getting all these things with the ability to control his decision after this year. Okay, I'm going to go back. It's going to be smooth and easy. The Packers get their quarterback for a year, and he gets the freedom to choose what he wants to do and where he wants to go in 2022. That's super interesting, and, and, and it does – start to make some sense of all of this. And again, we will hear from Rogers later today and see what he says. Meanwhile, Shefty, on, on TV this morning, Marcus said an interesting thing. Marcus Spears said, Aaron Rodgers now has more power than any NFL player has ever had within an organization. I just wonder, as one who knows the ins and outs of the dynamics of the sport better than anyone I know, what do you think of that statement? I love Marcus, but I don't know that that's true. I think Patrick Mahomes would have an equal amount of power over Kansas City. Any superstar quarterback could always threaten to withhold his services, get into some sort of behind-the-scenes battle with his organization. I think it just points out the NBAization of the NFL and the fact that you better make sure that your quarterback is happy at all times. And if he's not – there could be problems. And this has come up time and time again through history. We've seen it. It's not the first time. It won't be the last time, right? If you go back to just this offseason alone, okay, think about it, this, Greeny. Carson Wentz wanted out of Philly. Matthew Stafford wanted out of Detroit. Russell Wilson was open to a trade out of Seattle, no matter what is said, okay? Aaron Rodgers did not want to return to Green Bay. And, again, if he had this structure in his contract, I believe he wouldn't have returned this year. We used to move on and on with the quarterbacks just this offseason. Deshaun Watson wants out of Houston. So there is this trend going on amongst quarterbacks that if they're not happy, they're going to shake the tree and see what happens. And sometimes it's going to work in their favor, and other times it's just going to serve as a warning as to what could be coming. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.